Hey guys, back with another Supercoach video. It was a pretty solid week for the team. I scored 2,302. Wasn't enough to move me up in the rankings, but I only moved down 70 spots. So it's not too bad. Still in the top 5,000, which is good. And I won 4 out of 4 league matchups. Very important. So that's good to see. Let's move on to the team. In defense, Doherty, Laird, Adams all doing their job. Dylan Robden, good to see him ton up. Jake Lloyd, a 97, good. And Zach Tui, good to see him out of the 70s for a change. Would have liked a little more out of the second half, but it's a good score. Luke Ryan with a 67 there on the bench. In the midfield, Paddy Dangerfield was unbelievable. Went to the game, couldn't believe what I was seeing. He was marking everything at full forward. So it's yeah, just, just unbelievable from Danger. And got the 141 there on pretty much one leg. So, uh, yeah, it's unbelievable. He's in doubt for this week still. Hopefully he can get up for it, but we'll see what happens. Tom Mitchell, he was on fire in the first quarter. I think he got 19 touches. Yeah, he was just... He was unbelievable for the Hawks. He got the 136 there, good stuff. Zach Merritt with the 120. So, same with Bontempelli, very good from the both of them. Mitch Duncan, new recruit with the 108, that's solid. Scott Pendlebury, not going to play this week. Broke his finger against the Suns, only got the 83, very disappointing. But he is hoping for a round 19 return, hopefully that happens. We'll see, I, I can't trade him anyway. No trades remaining, so hopefully he can get back quickly. Josh Kennedy with a 96, that's okay. Joel Sell with a 94, okay as well, but would like a little more out of the both of them. And Mountford on the bench with the 41. In the rocks, Grundy, 77, a little disappointing. And Toby Nankervis with a 94, which is good. And Gorn on the bench, I didn't get his 57. I'll touch on that later when I talk about the captain loophole and all that. In the forward line, Jack McRae with a 124, very good. Elliot Yeo was a late out, cost me a donut, pretty disappointing. Luke Dahlhouse, only a 76, disappointing. Isaac Heaney with a 100, pretty good. Toby Green had a really good start, kicked a couple of goals, was at around 50 a quarter time, and he really dropped off afterwards, which is, again, disappointing. So, yeah, on to Captain Loophole, I got Greenwood 71 there, but originally the loophole was in the rocks, so let, let me just give you guys a visual of what it was originally. So I had the cup and loophole here, but I thought I could get an extra 40, 14 points getting Greenwood 71 rather than Gorn's 57, but of course I had to get hit with more bad luck. And Elliot Yo being a late out, so I copped the donut there, very disappointing, could have gotten an extra 57 points. But what can you do? You just can't predict these layouts. So, yeah, let's just sort out the team for this week. Pendles is out. Actually, what, what am I doing here? Didn't need to do that yet. Let's get Greenwood. There we go, that's better. And we'll give the... Yeah, we'll just put the emergency on Mountford. We get Gorn back on field. And, yeah, that will probably do it for the team. Captaincy, it's pretty difficult. You can rely on Danger as vice-captain pretty much every week, but he is in doubt right now. We'll keep the vice on him. Captaincy, though, out of Merritt, Bontempelli, or Doherty, we'll keep it on Merritt for now. We'll probably stay that way, but, yeah, we'll just have it on Merritt. Yeah, well, it's without without trading, there's not too much to talk about. Let's just move on to leagues. So yeah, in my own league, I beat Connor pretty comfortably. And in Shorty Supercoach League, a very important win. Puts me back in the top four, if I actually slipped out of the top four last week, I don't remember. But yeah, very important win against Craig by 35 there. It's got me at 10-5. Equal with Craig, who's at first. Also at 10 and 5. Let's go to leagues. I'll probably just do this every week. 
now since there's no more trading to do for myself. So in Shorty's League, top four, all at ten wins, so that should be interesting. And let's see, where is eighth? Seb at 32, so if I can get a win, I think I take on him this week. Let's see, round 18, yeah I do. So if I can beat Seb this week, I think it, I think that should seal a top 8 spot for myself, but top 4 on the other hand, that's a different story, that's going to be pretty interesting. And in my own league, I'm sitting pretty at first there. It's good to see, one game ahead of second to fourth, which is good, and top eight shouldn't, or holding on to a spot in the top eight's not an issue anymore. Top four, however, is not quite sealed, so we'll see what happens there. Yeah, that should probably do it for this video. I uh, just gotta continue to hope for no more injuries. It's been bad enough already with Crips. Pendlebury and Elliot Yo being a lay out in the last two weeks. It, it's just, it, it's been awful. But, you know, I've got to learn from my mistakes throughout this season. At this point, I can probably just start planning for next year now. It's getting to that point. But, yeah, that will probably do it for this video. This will most likely stay as the team this week. And I'll see you guys in the next video.